Welcome to Alesis Corporation. We want to introduce you to a new technology that's going to redefine the recording industry. Fortunately, we've been visited by someone with the credibility to help us get the message out. The most famous engineer in the world. I've come to you today because you've got a serious problem. Our records show that the format wars of the late 20th century caused billions of gigabytes of data to be lost forever. I've been sent back to your time to straighten it out. Billions of people are counting on me. I know these are confusing times for you. What's the best recording format? What storage medium is best? Which particle emitter do you use to recrystallize dilithium? You've every right to be confused. But thank your lucky stars that the clever engineers at Alesis have designed an answer for your time. ADAT Type 2. We all know that the original ADAT revolutionized the world of recording. Computer, tell us what the history logs say about it. ADAT format created by Alesis engineers in 1990. Eight tracks of 16-bit digital audio recording at a very low cost became the most widely used medium for professional audio recording and project studios due to its high quality. At this point in history, there are over 100,000 ADAT machines in use. But you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to what some people from your time have to say about ADAT. The best thing about ADAT for me, apart from the size and the price of them, is the fact that they're flat. What you put in is what you get out. Because I've been struggling with analog machines for 30 years, and they're never flat. You get a little bit more bottom end, or you lose some top. But with ADAT, that doesn't happen. I use ADATs on my projects no matter how large or small the budget is. I find that it helps me do everything that I need to get accomplished. I like ADATs. They're godsend. I like the portability, and guy A has one, guy B has one. They can interchange tapes, they can get it to me, can put them together. Part of being a musician is buying and learning to use gear. And in most cases, uh, the gear will help you find out more about what you have to say musically. In the very best cases, it actually changes the way you make music. Uh, the ADAT did that for me. Uh, originally, I just bought it to capture some some ideas and make my gear more effective. Uh, but what it did was it led me into a whole new area of working in music. Besides being a musician, I also own a, uh, an independent record label. And I work with a lot of artists worldwide from uh, South America and Europe. And since everybody uses the ADAT machines as a standard, uh, they're able to send me the, the, uh, the unmixed record. And in the studio, um, where I have um, five machines and I have the, uh, the Alesis X2, I'm able to mix the album and keep the cost down. In fact, I mean, if they'd been making the music ago, oh, I'd have used them on all kinds of other projects. Could even have done Stairway to Heaven on. But now, ADAT has taken a giant leap forward with ADAT Type 2, 20-bit recording featured in four new products from Alesis, which give you the best of all worlds. State-of-the-art recording combined with the convenience and low cost of tape storage. Hang on a moment, I'm getting an incoming transmission from a confused listener. Uh, famous engineer, what's up with this 20-bit? I've been recording at 16-bit and it's like the bomb. Laddie, what kind of weird science have you been inhaling? 16-bit was fine in the past, but you don't know what you're missing. Let's just say your outfit there is 20-bit, full resolution. What do you think it'd look like at 16-bit? Just as good. All right. Not bloody likely. <laughs> now you're wearing a 16-bit outfit. Look at how much data you're missing. 20-bit recording is many times the resolution of 16-bit. Okay, okay, 20 bits better than 16 bit. So I guess that means that 24 bit is a million times better than 20 bit, right? You want me to show you 24 bit? No problem. Whoa, hey. I thought that 24 bit would be even more resolution. 
It will, but it'll be a long time before true 24-bit performance exists in any practical application. Okay, I get it. Uh, now, could I get my 20-bit resolution back? <laughs> Thanks, famous engineer. <laughs> You're welcome. Now run along and get some ADAT Type 2 in your system. You see, folks, resolution is everything. If you're only recording at 16 bits, you're missing a lot of your music. Excuse me, another call. Uh, excuse me. Are you telling me that my mini disc recordings aren't as good as ADAT? No, laddie. They're fine for messing about with ideas, but you're comparing a shuttlecraft to a starship. Yeah, but my mini disc is totally digital recording. Compressed digital. I thought compressed was cool. What's wrong with compressed? <laughs> Lad, I think maybe you were sitting a wee bit too close to the reactor at the recording academy. Let me show you what compressed digital feels like. Whoa, cool. Yeah, right. Now who's gonna play drums? <laughs> Don't worry about it, lads. I'm just making a point. But see, when you uncompress a compressed digital signal, you always lose something in the process. Uh, you're right. I, I, I want to make serious music. I, I guess this mini disc isn't going to cut it. Thanks, engineer dude. Would you? This is turning out to be a much harder assignment than I ananticipated. Uh, let's let's have it. Now, I don't care if my system is 16-bit. It's an entire recording studio in one box. It's got digital mixers, effects, hard disk, and, and virtual tracks, and it can make CDs. Oh. oh, sorry, lad. I must have hit the wrong control button. Fortunately, that was stun setting. <laughs> no problem, famous engineer. But what about... Oh, man. Actually, I, I did you a favor, laddie. That unit isn't pro, and by the time you figured out how to use it, you've lost your inspiration. ADAT recorders are intuitively easy to use, no messing about with arcane operating parameters. Stick around and you'll see that the cost of an ADAT Type 2 system is actually less than that unfortunate piece of hardware you're holding. You really want to make records? Get an ADAT. Thanks, famous engineer. I think I have time for one last call. Excuse me, famous engineer, but how can you possibly compare ADAT to other media? Are you daft, laddie? What have I been saying here? But tape is old. Removable media is highly advanced. Fine, he likes things highly advanced. Now, you're highly advanced. Fascinating. Just because something's advanced doesn't make it better, does it? To equal the storage capacity of just one ADAT tape, you'd have to have 30 of those zip disks. I see your point is highly logical. For recording music, there's presently no better storage solution than ADAT tape. I see now that my mission here is going to take some time. Fortunately, the folks at Alesis have a presentation for you that'll do in place of a refresher course at the Recording Academy. Welcome. This is the place where matter meets antimatter, and we get down to specifics. To do that, I'd like to turn things over to a friend of mine from Alesis. Are you ready to take over, laddie? I'm up to the task, sir. I just don't mess it up. With all the confusion out there, it's been bloody hard to get some of these people up to speed. I'm giving you voice access to the computer. Thanks, famous engineer. And thank you for joining us. We think this is going to be the most important eight minutes you spend because we're going to introduce you to some truly amazing breakthrough products from Elise's in the area of advanced digital recording, available to people at any price. So let's get started. Computer, tell the audience about ADAT Type 2. 
From this point in history, all ADAT recorders produced are 20-bit ADAT Type 2 format. There are four new ADAT systems, the M20, XT20, LX20, and the PCR interface card and software. All recorders use widely available SVHS tapes and are backward compatible with existing ADAT libraries. This means original 16-bit ADAT Type 1 tapes can be played in any of the new models. Type 1 and Type 2 machines can easily sync together. We've been talking a lot about 16-bit and 20-bit recording, but what's the real difference? Computer, give us some stats. ADAT Type 2 is measurably higher audio quality, especially at low recording levels. 20-bit Type 2 also offers a wider dynamic range, lower noise, and has significantly less distortion than any 16-bit tape or disc recorder on the market. Since the 20-bit advantage is most easily noticeable at lower listening levels, we've amplified a low-level recording by a huge amount so you can really hear what's happening. Listen carefully to the quality of this recording as it fades into the noise floor. Computer, play the piano recorded on the 16-bit hard disk recorder at minus 60. Now, let's hear that same session simultaneously recorded on an ADAT Type 2 recorder. Quite a difference. Most people immediately notice the greater detail and openness of the 20-bit recording, and this is even at normal recording levels. So now let's unveil the new ADAT Type 2 units. Computer, tell us about the first ADAT Type 2 unit. The M20 introduced at the AES show last year is designed for the high-end audio and post-production market. It features eight tracks of 20-bit recording, a built-in SMPTE synchronizer, jog shuttle wheel, nine-pin control capability, and a direct drive transport to search and lock faster than any other modular multi-track. Thank you, computer. And now Alesis has taken the advanced technology of the M20 and made it available in a series of machines priced for the music market. Computer, tell us about the ADAT XT20. The XT20, which replaces the ADAT XT, is the same 20-bit audio quality as the M20, in a package and price affordable to most musicians and project engineers. The XT20 features eight tracks of recording, balanced inputs and outputs, 10 locate points and advanced onboard digital editing features. The XT20 is designed for discerning users who require the signal path between the microphone and the monitor to be the quietest possible. And the XT20 puts this amazing 20-bit technology into your hands for a retail price of only $29.99. And if that's not amazing enough, computer, tell us about the ADAT LX20. The LX20 is the lowest cost ADAT ever made, but still uses the same 20-bit Type 2 recording format as the XT20 and M20. The LX20 offers unbalanced inputs and outputs, and a number of performance features including auto punch with rehearse and five locate points. The LX20 is designed for people on a tighter budget who could only afford a Porta Studio type recorder in the past. With a retail price of only $22.49, now anyone can get a true 20-bit multi-track recorder at almost half the price of the original ADAT. Yes, you heard correctly, better and at a lower price. To illustrate how powerful ADAT is, let's compare ADAT tape to other storage media. Computer. At this point in history, tape is still the superior storage format for digital audio recording. Tape is inexpensive and efficient. Zip disks, jazz disks, MO and hard drives, which are designed for computers, are expensive and inefficient for audio recording and archiving. But there is one area of significant advantage to computer-based systems, and that's in the area of editing. There's no question that cut-and-paste editing is more easily accomplished in the visual environment of a computer. To address this application, Alesis has once again designed the perfect solution. Computer, tell us about the ADAT PCR card. 
The ADAT PCR is an ADAT input-output device for personal computers and comes bundled with recording and editing software. The PCR features eight tracks of 20-bit Type 2 recording. It also features inputs and outputs for the ADAT sync and optical interfaces, allowing users to transfer audio data back and forth to a computer with sample accuracy. This is a much more accurate transfer method than MIDI timecode or SMPTE. Linked to an ADAT Type 2 recorder, the PCR gives you the best of all worlds. 16 tracks of 20-bit digital audio with full computer editing capabilities and superior tape storage. The PCR is compatible with most recording software for the Mac or Windows platform and is available for a retail price of only $499. Now, let's show you how Alesis puts all of this together. Computer, show us the first system. Introduced last year, the Studio 32 is a 16-track analog mixer with audio quality on par with much higher-end recording consoles. Bundled together, two ADAT XT20s and a Studio 32 are a 20-bit professional recording studio for under $7,300 retail. Now let's look at an even more economical system. Computer! For a lower cost system, the new Studio 24 is the perfect mixer for a single ADAT 8-track system. Bundled together, the ADAT LX20 and Studio 24 are a 20-bit recording studio for a very economical cost. How economical? How about a retail price of just over $3,000 for a complete 20-bit recording system? So let's recap just a bit. Computer, give us the ADAT Type 2 benefits one last time. ADAT Type 2 offers clear audio benefits of 20-bit performance in four different models for every recording application, advanced computer integration of the PCR, and efficient yet inexpensive tape storage. And the most important part of all of this is that Alesis is providing musicians with an all-inclusive recording solution, one that provides opportunities for every recording level. The large installed user base of over 100,000 ADATs worldwide means built-in compatibility. Well done, lad. I see you really connected with the folks. Thanks, and be off with you. Thanks for watching, and if you need more information, contact Alesis or visit our website. Well, it looks like my work is done here. With all these people enlightened about ADAT Type 2, I see the future has straightened itself out which is fine with me. Because I've got my own work to do.